so guys as you can see in the white window this is my primary database and in the green window this is my physical standby and also you can see the flashback is enabled on both side and i have recently switched log the file currently my primary on the 46 sequence number and as you can see 46 is in the applying process on the standby how we can perform the reinitiate after failover so in that case i'm going to fail my primary database and after that i will be reinitiate the current primary so for the failover what i'm doing i'm going to just down the primary database so let me do it quickly shut down immediate so my primary database is now shut it down so let's come on the standby machine as you can see if i'm trying to check which background process is currently running v dollar manage underscore standby previously you can see there is a rfs process is running but now you can see only mrp and archive and dgrd process is running but rfs is not running right now because my primary database is got down so now let's exit from the sql prompt and connected with the dg broker and check show configuration you can see digital is my primary database which is currently down you can see the error aura error 1034 oracle not available from the primary side and dgdr is my physical standby database so now let me do the failover so what i'm doing failover to dgdr dgdr my standby database and i know my primary is down i just want to make my standby database as primary okay just hit enter and wait and watch failover succeeded new primary is a dgdr so let me show you so configuration and now you can see dgdr is a primary database and digital is a physical standby you can see the message here the standby database need to be reinitiated let me exit from the dg broker first and show you something select database underscore role open underscore mod from the dollar database you can see my database is a dgdr the database role is a primary and it is open in the read write mode see after failover redo sequences is reset and started from the one before doing reinitiate let me do some switch logs perfect let me start my old primary which is the black window and startup mount remember do not open the old primary database make it only the mount it is open now select open mode and database underscore role from v dollar database see this database also has a primary role this is my digital database as i already show you my dgdr database has a primary role also right now our both databases has a primary role but in data guard configuration we can maintain only one primary database and multiple standby databases so let me exit from here and make a connection with the dg broker i'm going to reinitiate finally our digital database is reinitiated let me show you the configuration as you can see in the configuration the error is removed and the digital database role automatically changed from primary to standby now let me connect with the digital database and cross check the details again perfect the database role is physical standby now let me check the data guard background processes it should be running automatically yes it is running you can see here the mrp and rfs is automatically running so finally we have successfully reinitiated the old primary database after failover i will put the link of this document in video description you can get it from there now let's try to change the database role same as before the failover let's connect with the dg broker and run the command switch over to digital okay switch over completed now let me show you the configuration perfect the database role has been changed now if you learn something from this video please write your feeling in the comment box and like this video if you're watching my video first time please subscribe my youtube channel ocp technology
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.